Hey everyone, this is Zach with the Iowa Plainsman Outdoors. Um, right now it's kind of the dead season. It's February 1st, so not a lot of hunting, not a lot of fishing going on, uh, which means only one thing, it means off-season projects. Um, so Justin has a shop uh, out at his place, and he invited me down to uh, work on my boat in his shop. Uh, I have a whole bunch of stuff that needed done to the trailer, there's a whole bunch of stuff that needed done to the boat, the thing is falling apart, needed some updates, some renovations, some things are just gonna kinda up the game a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna get into everything we're doing. There's a giant list of stuff that we're gonna do to this boat and trailer uh, over the weekend, and I'm gonna get into that a little bit later, but I kinda wanted to get you a little bit of a before on, uh, on the boat to give you something to compare to uh, for the after. So I've kept my boat outside because uh, I take great care of my things. And um, it's currently in snow, but it's in the heated shop. It's going to be in the heated shop overnight, and all the snow is going to melt out of it. Um, as you can tell, my trailer is in uh, not the best of shape. The lighting hasn't really worked in it for a while. It needs completely rewired, so we're going to completely rewire it. Uh, these posts, these poles here, you can tell they don't have light on them. Uh, they're a little low. So they have been hit by the boat when we're, when we're uh, putting the boat back on the trailer. Uh, you can tell these light mounts are pretty janky. We're going to do a whole new light mount system up here. Probably going to add some more lights. I'm thinking at least going to add some floods in the back for backing down dark ramps, backing out of uh, diddy pole holes, uh, that whole thing. The wood on the trailer, you can't really tell most of it, but you can tell a little bit. It's seen better days. So we're gonna redo some of the wood um, on the, I don't know what you call those, rockers, whatever. We're gonna redo those. We're putting a, uh, a ram bar on the front. So yep. as you can tell, there's, uh, there's still mud in here from fishing season that's frozen solid. My boat gets very dirty very fast when I punch the bank and uh, mud just falls into the, into the boat. Gets everything muddy, it's a big mess. We're gonna put a ram bar on the front so that we hit the bank with the bar. All the mud falls between the bar and the boat. It's gonna be pretty sharp. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff we're gonna do. Uh, that's just kind of a basic preview. This is just a, a before for right now, uh, so you can get a good contrast of what the after is gonna look like. As you can tell, we got the uh, the boat all stripped down. We're trying to get some of the weight out of it. We're gonna uh, hoist it up off the trailer, put it on a roller, so that way we can work on the boat and the trailer individually. We got the uh, we got the boards off the trailer. Yeah. Start looking at the trailer a little bit more. This is gonna be a little more work than what we thought. I think maybe yeah, come 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 down here, right here. That's bad. It's not supposed to do that. Yeah, that's 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 uh, rough. That's not good. So we're gonna fix that, but. I think it's gonna live. Maybe. maybe. I'm oh, not oh, sure yet. Hopefully. It'll be okay. It's gonna be a little more work than what we had anticipated. Okay, so this is our surprise that we found last night that the uh, frame had been cracked. So we're gonna have to put a weld on this. Fortunately, Justin's got the hookup for the welder and the metal and the shop. So, gonna get that fixed. Really, this trailer, is, as you can obviously tell, is a piece of crap. It is? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's just a piece of crap. I thought so, it was prime. No, yeah, that's just me. I mean, yeah, I mean, I would, I would buy it. Just kidding, I did buy it. Primo. <laughs> so we're gonna have to do some welding on the trailer, but fortunately, it should be in good shape. I was wondering why the trailer was so bouncy, and uh, if it has a big crack in the frame, that's a good reason why. <laughs> On this crack, man. The plus side is no more bouncy, bouncy in the trailer. Man, that's so much better. So we have the wire stripped from the trailer, uh, and we are taking these PVC posts off because they just weren't long enough, and we're going to replace that with some new PVC posts. Uh, frankly, it's just in better shape, and uh, it's also going to be longer, make it a little bit easier to get the boat back on the trailer. All right, and we got the uh, PVC guides cut down to size. 
a little bit taller, a little bit easier to see put the boat on. All right, we had another crack on this side of the trailer frame as well. It isn't as bad, but uh, we're gonna get that welded too. So we're gonna get that welded out or welded in, how we look at it. <laughs> we were talking about how to put, uh, we we're gonna put a ram bar on the front of the boat. So you can tell my boat gets really, really filthy. Every time we punch mud, we're hitting, we're doing ditty poles, dirt falls in the boat, which then just wash, it just gets nasty. Hard to clean out. So we're putting a ram bar up in the front so when we hit the, hit the bank, the, the, the dirt falls down beside the boat, falls down here. And we wanted to have a better light mount system all in one. So three of us, mainly these two guys, just came up with the uh, plan for doing that. So how are we doing it? Andy how hates we do, how the we doing camera. It, Andy? How are well, we doing it? Sp <laughs> speak to the camera. Speak to the camera, Andy. You bear with me. I'm not smart. <laughs> That's going in the intro for the new season. Right. Bear with me, I'm not smart. <laughs> Bear with me, I'm not smart. Um, uh, I'm a little redneck here, okay? So, excuse my language. We got this anchor iron we're gonna put on the side of the boat. We put this on the boat, weld, it, weld these two together, bolt it to the boat, bolt it to the boat, boat. Weld this on here. Then we're gonna drill a hole in here. So we can take this in and out, mm -hmm. and our and we're gonna have another piece of tubing going right here. So it's gonna be in the shape of a T. Yep, shape shape of a T. We take it out, do load the boat out, put it back in, go. You can see there's a little bit of curvature there in the corner of the boat. So we are we cut out a little piece of the angle iron so we can fit it in there flush, and we're gonna weld uh, this front piece onto the side piece. So the welding on the frame is done, right? Pretty much. More or less. Uh, we still have to bolt the frame in, we need to get some bolts for it. Um, and we're looking at getting that receiver hitch on now. The basic frame for my mud bar is done. Uh, we're actually doing it out of steel. Uh, this is going to do a few things. This is going to be the new light mount, or we're going to maybe weld some scrap off onto here in the mountain lights. And uh, it's going to hold the receiver for the uh, actual punch bar itself. And it's also adding some reinforcement to the front of the boat because, I mean, with this aluminum, as much as we punch the bank, it's just not that strong. So it's nice to have the extra reinforcement on the front. Just is now getting the actual ram bar itself welded together and that's how it's going to fit on it's going to look just like so this board is one of the trailer uh rockers i guess you might call it and it's cracked i'm gonna have to get a new one of those but justin's buddy ben brought some carpet over for me so i can re-carpet you know this board and then you know right here too getting the carpet measured out so we can uh Rocker. Slap it on the rockers. Alright, okay, hit the carpet down for the boards. Alright, and then Nicole got the uh, carpet on the, what I call the rocker, on for the trailer. Um, they said we gotta do one more, but uh, I gotta get a new board first. Ben gave us the tip to leave it open on the bottom end so the water can drain out of it. Nicole is carpeting my bumper. <laughs> yeah. So we got some scrap pieces of angle iron. We're gonna put it on these gussets in the corner. And that is what we're gonna mount the spot flood combos to. Uh, and then we're gonna put another tab or so coming off the side, and that's where our floods are gonna be at. All right, so we have the lights bolted in yet, but that's exactly how they're gonna go. Uh, you can see that we welded kind of a tab of angle iron onto this gusset, and that's where uh, the lights gonna be mounted onto on each side. 
We got the whole what, front light drilled out, and now we're getting the mount for the rear, well, the rear floods uh, put on right now. Okay, so we have the uh, ram bar system here uh, bolted on. Uh, Justin got that done, and um, it's on there pretty, pretty secure. Uh, we put on the front, he had welded on another piece of steel in the front so it doesn't just tear through the aluminum. And uh, we'll put the bolts through that. So that's it for this video. I'm doing a multiple part uh, series because there's, there's a lot of boat projects we got going on. Um, so I'm gonna do at least one more video on these boat projects. And uh, stay tuned for that. Appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you catch the next one.